Today I watched the PlayStation Showcase so you don't have to. Let's not waste any more time and let's begin with Helldivers. Looks like the type of game that is only fun with friends, but that could be said about any game. Immortals of Avrion, this is a shooter with pretty particle effects. And you know what was the last shooter with pretty particle effects? Forspoken. The only difference is that this game is first person. So you know that after two hours, you'll see everything that the game had to offer. Phantom Blade, the first time I saw that trailer, that looked good. The second time though, it looked too good to be true. In fact, it reminded me to one of those fake mobile ads. You know, the ones that have a weird camera angle to make it seem like a cinematic is gameplay, where the only thing they do is a bunch of fancy animation to make it look cool. But in reality, that's not the actual gameplay of the game. Yeah, I'm quite skeptical on that one. Talos Principle 2. Just a boring puzzle game. I'm not a fan of those types of games. Phone Stars. It's just a Splatoon knockoff. No one is covering it. You can be sure that game is going to be filled with microtransactions. Here down, about time the game came to console, even though the console user will miss the best part of the game. Much. Final Fantasy 16. Why was this game show in the showcase? We already know it's coming. Alan Wake 2. Hey, Alan Wake. Never play Alan Wake 1 though, so I don't know what the hell is happening. Still, looks like a fun game to watch on YouTube. Assassin's Creed Mirage. So far, it's reminding me of Assassin's Creed 1 but with the graphics of the RPG trilogy. I don't know if that's a good thing or if that's a bad thing, but finger crossed this game is actually about assassins. Scramble Fantasy Reeling, just an anime game. Let's move on. Street Fighter 6, you can make your own character in this game. Can't wait for this game to come out. Only to wait four years for the definitive edition and get the full game. Dragon's Dogma 2, a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. They shows the three professions this shows the mage making a magic bridge. It looks like they're improving on everything that the first one did. Can't wait to see when this game is releasing. Capcom? Capcom, when is the game released? Marathon. No gameplay for this one, but it sounds like you are going to be running a lot. Oh yeah, they also show like three VR games for the five people that still play VR. Metal Gear Solid Delta or MGS3 remake for the friends. Keep you waiting, huh? Well, keep waiting because they didn't show gameplay. Concord, truly one of the announcements trailers of all time. Towers of Agasba. Look, it's gliding, clearly. The Breath of the Wild knockoff. The Plucky Squire. It's like a pretty 2D game that can transition to 3D, but you know then well the game is only going to be 3 hours long. Air Games, another uninspired payday clone. No gameplay, by the way. Neva. Pretty animation, but no gameplay. Not interested. Spider-Man 2. You know damn well this was the only reason why you watched this showcase. And apparently Sony knows it too. Because no wonder they leave the best for last. They knew if they showed this at the beginning, nobody could have stayed and watched the rest of the show. And well that was pretty much all the show. Can't wait to see what we get in June. Xbox certainly seems confident.